my um, hat's off to a veteran Toledo squad. They did a great job of not allowing us to bother them on continuous possessions. I think we forced them into turnovers that we usually get, but just like the veteran team, it's hard to uh, get those guys off their box a little bit and make them make continuous mistakes. Um, you know, when it came down to the first half, we just wasn't able to convert offensively in the paint. I believe we shot probably less than 15% if you take all our layups or points in the paint or baskets or shots in, in the paint. And, you know, Al and um, Deontay said themselves that they got to do a better job. Even before I was able to get to them and give them what that stat was, they said, Coach, we got to finish better. That's my fault. That's my fault. So um, going eight for 29 between the two of those, we're not going to be able to win um, the games we need to win if we're not shooting a high percentage in that paint. Uh, in addition to that, we didn't do a good job of converting uh, free throws. And I thought whether it was one and ones, whenever you have a team shooting 25 for 33 on your court, you got to shoot 90% to kind of offset that. And we didn't do that. Uh, we left some points on the board. But my credit is off to Toledo. Like I said, big fella, uh, Kapke, he had almost a triple-double, 12, 12, and 9. Uh, he, he controlled the paint. He made it difficult. He played defense without fouling. He, they had some great length. Um, you know, the big picture is they look like they played 90 games and 90 games together. And that's a team that can possibly win their conference. And we, they didn't allow us to rattle them at all. They had nine assists in the first half and a couple turnovers. They finished the game with 15 and 11. Uh, the other two parts in the game is whenever we cut the lead down, we got to do a better job of not fouling. And I think we fouled three-point shooters to end whatever run that we had made, and we can't do that. But, you know, we'll look at the film and get better at it. The highlights of our game, I believe we had 17 offensive rebounds, ended up with 23 second chance points. I'm proud of my guys about the way they fought, battled. Uh, we just got, got to do a better job of winning certain possessions. We can't allow uh, a team to shoot over 40%. Our goal is to try to hold teams less than 40 in both halves. and. At that point, you'll see a different result at the end of the game. Talk about the threes. That was a big difference in the first half. Well, that's, well, that's what Toledo does. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and they did a great job of finding their shooters. And like I said, they had nine, nine assists in the first half on, I think, 11 baskets, so to speak. So whenever you have a team finding their shooters, in addition to the fouls that we made behind a three-point line, you know, it's tough. But the thing that you can't do, you can't give up threes and free throws. It got to be one out of the three. If you're going to give up threes, you can't give up points in the paint, and you can't give up free throws. If it's going to be free throws, you can't give up threes, you can't give up points in the paint. If the team is going to beat us on twos, they can't get threes nor free throws. So we didn't do a great job of balancing that out. They got two out of the three, and we got to do better. Abush Mackey, a non-box for Toledo, did he – did he do something different than what you guys like expected him of him tonight, like defensively? No, he did a great job. He stayed out of foul trouble. He did a great job. I was going to ask you about that. You got him in the foul trouble in the second half, and then they took him out and he late to the rim, and they put him back in. Can you talk about it? He did a great job staying out of foul trouble, and my hats off to him. He's a veteran. That's how he played. I think the freshman, as a freshman, if you look at his freshman film. Those were fouls because he would probably reach down and try to block, but he, he played great position defense. And for them to win 20 plus games this season, he's going to have to stay out of foul trouble. And he's worked on that uh, without a doubt. What do I know about Kent? Yeah. Well, as it relates to the MAC conference, it's a great basketball conference. We're playing another great team in the state of Ohio. Uh, it's not going to be easy playing on the road. Uh, they do a great job. Coach Senderoff does a great job with his guys, um, and they'll be well prepared. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind it's going to be a good game. We have to do our job. We'll regroup, go over the scouting report, prepare. But the first things first, we've got to debrief from this game and make sure we don't have – the things that hurt us carry over into that environment. And we'll watch film, uh, we'll, we'll learn from it, we'll teach, we'll correct, 
and then we'll be prepared to work on Kent State Scout, and our guys will be prepared to play. Have you looked at anything at Kent? What's that? Have you looked at anything at Kent? Uh, I'll do that after we debrief. Do you know if they have a shot blocker? I'll, I'll look at Kent when we debrief from Toledo, the most important game. I try to teach our guys how to win the day, not to look at tomorrow, next week, or three weeks from now, or the NCAA tournament. I want them to be in the present. And when you're in the present, you can take care of the things, the small things that you need to take care of. And as a staff, we're doing the same thing, trying to win the day. And the most important scout is the scout that's coming up. And right now, we're going to debrief from Toledo and obviously learn and, and not have those mistakes carry over or the fouls on the three-point shooters. We definitely can't go to Kent and foul three-point shooters, you know, and put ourselves in disadvantage that way. Um, so the most important thing going into that game is debriefing correctly from tonight. And that's what our staff is going to do uh, as soon as I leave you guys. We're going to start debriefing from tonight's game. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you guys coming.